Hello, my friends, and welcome back. It's episode 66. Will this oh, be the sorry. final Did episode? Something? Potentially. Potentially. In fact, I might even kill him this turn, but we'll have to see. I'm just getting started. Okay, good. For my people, for my homeland. I think he could potentially do some serious damage, actually. After all, these are all magic. So the return damage should be next to nothing. Battle formations. Battle formations. How much more HP has he got? It feels like a lot. Time to end this. Keep firing. Dinner time. How much more damage can this guy take? Repent before the righteous. Cautious. Cautious battles seem to be the way forward because of the the damage reduction is worth the small I must be brave health loss If only she could get here and heal him Move your ass, cannon team. Time to even the odds. He 
is so close to death. And yet he's still probably got thousands of thousands of HP remaining. I'm worried, actually, that when My he... Friends are counting on me. I better heal this guy. Because I'm worried that when he attacks the whole map, he'll kill this unit. That magic squad really... just didn't get the job done. survive this turn. I imagine you foresaw this. In the end, I have served my purpose, and to a far, far greater power I will be of use, and then the races of this little realm will understand the meaning of humility. Blue glow. It's freaking out my camera. <laughs> nice. I didn't even lose any squads. Is he dead? Almost. Stay here with my power or bury this threat forever. Edmund. I'm sorry, I can't let this happen. Do you think you can stop me? Yes, but not by crossing blades with you. I felt what's coming for a long time. This is the end of a story you've sought to make true. If you want to take Xanatus' power, you'll have to kill me. There's no other path for me, not in this world, not in this life. The people of our country could not and should not tolerate my existence. Then we have something in common. For me, it's only a matter of time. What? Our whole lives in these moments, you've always told me to wait and watch while you handle it. Now I'm asking for you to return the favor. Let me handle this one, Zealous. It's time for us to disappear. You really have surpassed me, as I've always predicted. You know I'll never forget this, what you asked me to sacrifice. The way I see it, we'll have plenty of time to get over it. Here or in hell. Do you have hell in this fantasy universe? Right then, do what you came to do, Edmund. I like how everyone just knows what they're doing. Viridia, during the in... God, how the hell did you pronounce this? Interangium? Interang... Interanium? No idea. Two months later. I know what it means. It means intermit... Like, the intervening period. I could have just put the intervening period instead of using some old fucking Latin garbage. But, hey. Hey! 
Hey, Sybil, and of course the venerated Master Sergeant himself. Welcome to the new and improved monastery. Howdy, good to see you, Stefan. Stefan, do you think she'll even speak to me? Can't make any promises. See, I'm pretty forgiving, I get it. That Lysander's got a silver tongue if there ever was one. Ain't your fault in my view. Alright, thank you, Stefan. You bet. Well, let's not keep her waiting. Tank lady! They're here, love. I mean, Diana. I mean... Tank lady! No one's carried the temple scripture legacy. This book's secrets are locked away forever. That the corrupt hearts of men will someday exploit our newfound ignorance. Its certitude is troubling, and one wonders what I must now do to protect the future. My apologies. It's good to see you again. They say you have decided not to take the title of Grand Mistress of the Temple, but why? Who better to serve in this role? It is not my title to bear. Mind and soul of great caliber and purity will come to fulfill the role. I can only do my best until then. Did you need something of the temple? Dan, I just wanted to make see if now would be a good time to make my induction to the Sisterhood of Justice official. You mentioned back in Ember that we should do this when we get the chance, in front of all the temple. I know I have much to answer for, so perhaps I have lost the privilege. And well, I was wondering if Barnabas and I could get married here. Whoa, hold up a minute. <laughs> Now you've got me all in a pickle asking all formally like that. Oh come on, what are you waiting for? The right time to settle down? <laughs> ha ha ha. Ah, fair enough. <laughs> ah, you'd just like to make it formal. Do you want to start forgotten all about that? To me, your introduction to the Sacred Order was official then and there. And after your decision to follow Lysander, I still want to see you mature a bit. Not to fall so easily to suggestion. You must be your own person. One year of satisfactory service to the temple, and then you shall reach the first rank within the Sisterhood of Justice. That's the best I can do, and I believe you have what it takes. In regards to a marriage ceremony, talk to Stefan about that, though I suggest the groom agree voluntarily first. <laughs> Not bad, all things considered, what you say. Thank you so much, you won't regret this, I swear. Edmund, we got into the unknown. With the Dark God slain, the people of... Tara, Tarana, Tara, 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 <laughs> Again, have the power to bring about great change for both good and evil. Do not know what lies ahead for you, but if you need me, I'll be there. I'll be there. Whatever you need. <laughs> <laughs> it's so dumb. I love it. A hundred years of undue burden upon our people ends today. May the house of Dargon never be broken again. Should anyone happen to threaten my little king jewels, well, you know. <laughs> well, brother, are you going to be comfortable as king, or must I usurp the throne myself? I am the official Princess Royale, you know. You really mean it. I'm just jesting, dear brother. Oh my stars, how dangerously naive. I implore you to depend on your followers, for there will be many who wish you harm. I will, dear sister. Edmund, we had such a journey together, but our struggle has only just begun. Don't forget about me. Who are you talking to? Like, he's not even in this scene. How can you be talking to him? He's not there. Guess they're keeping this place as a memorial. The world's got just about enough of them. Ain't no metal gonna bring these boys back. Brave young ones, you're the best among us. Don our bless them, each and every one. Edmund, ain't got much left in me, but I reckon you do. Don't waste this. You know how it goes with war, you can fix it. He he's not in the scene either. It's a bit jarring. Two years has passed since Edmund first saw a battle. 
two years that have changed the world forever, but foremost in Edmund's heart forged friendships and bonds that will never be broken. And you'll find those friendship, that friendship and bonds on my Patreon. <laughs> I do have some excellent supporters. And it is the only reason why I do, th I do games like this. RPG TBSs. The families of Viridia, once torn apart and deprived of what matters most, are finally reunited. The sky returns to normal, the Nephilim army arrives back to home to find people are celebrating the end of the war. As the signs of the Xanatus cult are removed, so too wanes the age of nobles as people look forward to an uncertain future. Over here, prisoner. Letter for you. From a friend of yours. I'm told to bring you whatever you need to finish the task in the letter. You are one lucky bastard. Is that my sender? Edmund. The world owes you greatly, Lysander, for sparing it the rule of another tyrant. The one I could have become. I have one last request of you. Give the country the blueprints to a better world. Starring! A grizzled old guy. He finally retired. Approached many times with to join the New Republic, Barnabas rejects, preferring the simple life. Oh, and Sybil had a son. Starring Angry Girl, Angry Tomboy. <laughs> After regaining her stature with the temple, she turns her passions to raising her three new sons with Barnabas. Though she would not see battle again, her love for her children made her all the more invested into a future free of evil tyrants she fought so vigorously to defeat. Starring... Token Furry! <laughs> After the death of the Silent he returned to his homeland with a king's ransom in reward for his service. As the great boon he provided his people, Rascuja became a venerated alpha male to bear a small army of offspring. Rascuja lived to the ripe old age to a ripe old age and passed away surrounded by an expansive and adoring family. Starring the one that had no personality at all and I barely remember. <laughs> Her example and conduct has been held as an exemplary priestess of the Sisterhood of Mer Mercy. Except that moment where, you know, she let Alex get kidnapped. Though forbidden by the temple, Lysander and Adelia had fallen in love. Adelia had not let decided to leave tradition, but the two new lovers have been inseparable. Starring the token guy from the north. <laughs> the token guy from Scotland. He had committed to his duchy in life from its very inception to the end. As the last major nobleman from a bygone era, he found himself alone in a new world. The founders of the Republic proposed Yermir become a pre-consul, the highest rank of government under the consul, and to function as the representative for the Embor region. Putting his people first, he accepted the role and abandoned the idea of a noble lineage. This astounding act of humility served the new Republic well, setting the stage for new traditions and institutions that would create a lasting peace. Starring... The guy that we slayed right at the very beginning? Oh, they're going to make a monument for his service in the Succession War for being the spark that lit fire in people's hearts. Okay. Starring 
fiery redhead. <laughs> With the death of Xenatus, she had a brief moment in her life where her goals were aligned with the commoners. In the aftermath of the war, the financial empire was left in shambles, but Beatrix managed to sell the scraps for a respectable sum. She founded a magic university in the city of Sakadra, which would become the main hub of magical hopefuls across the world. Due to the effects of her divine bloodline, she lives for another 120 years, completely defining the world of academic magics for generations. Against what one would expect, Beatrix grew very fond of jewels during the Nephilim War. The infatuation continues to this day, although King Newells is being urged by to marry a Sayuni queen. Some feelings can never really fade. Starring the traitor. <laughs> he served in time in prison for his mutiny. Despite this preconsulate approach to send him a special invitation to become the primary author of new articles of the Republic. Using his rich education in philosophy and history, Lysander put his entire soul into its creation, making sure to set up a government that would be just, compassionate, and sustainable. Lysander would be known as one of the founders of the Republic, perhaps its most influential. After earning his freedom, he would eventually rise through the preconsulate itself and become Viridia's head of state. He never spoke with Edmund again. Lysander had become very close with Adelia during the Nephilim War. While Lysander's actions greatly strained their relationship, Adelia saw a certain vulnerability in him and wished to become the guiding light he so needed, and so after he earned his freedom, Lysander and Adela would marry, and they were blessed with many children. Starring token Japanese girl. <laughs> uh. Okay, she went to live in Sayuna, and became the darling of the new kingdom of Sayuna. During the Nephilim War, she discovered she has a fitty for dragons, and they for her committed to the study of draconology further, and developed her own personal brood. Starring Cold Foreign Lady. Having proven a champion of the Sinari people, Sinari people, King Yules asked her to lead the new Sinari Defense Force and she accepted. An avid study of history and Dargan dynasty, Narima brought valuable knowledge and tradition to the new army. Okay. Starring Robin Hood, man in tights. <laughs> well, he became the king, which he did during the game, so there's not really much to say here. More stuff about him becoming king and how he became king. He was forever known as Golden-Hearted King Cassium, Man in Tights. <laughs> Starring... <laughs> Emperor Palpatine. <laughs> By the time of his death, his empire was in a state of total collapse, blah blah blah. Why are we repeating this stuff? We know what happened to him. I was there when the story happened. Now possibly residing in the deepest hell. Okay. Starring Tank Lady! Known forever as the Goddess of War. That's not we know her as. We know her as... As... As Thick Thighs Lady. <laughs> it's definitely the author's... Uh, or one developer designer's fetish, for sure. Okay, we saw this bit. In time, she will again hear the call for a champion to rise and defend the innocent. Starring! Got my hands in your pockets! Why is everybody putting their hands in my pockets? <laughs> Starring! Nobody even cares about me! I'm sure you've all forgotten! I'll have my revenge! <laughs> okay. It seemed inevitable that these two would fall in love, despite their profound personal differences. Stefan leaves behind his former life of whimsy to walk steadfast with Diana for the rest of their days. Starring the guy from the start of the game that you forgot about by the end of it. <laughs> 
Having lost his path during the Nephilim War, Zelos committed incredible war crimes, slaughtering dissidents and assisting in the kidnapping of children. But one thing remained, his loyalty to Edmund, unable to watch his best friend of decades fall into a deadly trap. Zelos nearly gave his life to pave way for the ultimate downfall of Xenatus. And that, I think, is it. Oh my god, the credits are going to be so slow. It's not even... It makes me feel like it's not even worth waiting to see if there's anything past the credits. Well, thank you for watching along. Uh, as I joked about before, this campaign came about because it was voted for on my Patreon and that vote led to me playing this game so I hope you guys enjoyed it um, as always the channel only runs because of Patreon support I don't have any ads or sponsors or any garbage on the channel so uh, yeah I hope you enjoyed it another campaign down usually only like it's funny because campaigns often start with you know, thousands of people watching and end with only like 50 to 70 people watching. So, uh, if you're one of those, then, uh, it's great. Because <laughs> I don't like to leave stuff unfinished, even if it doesn't necessarily benefit me. Oh, there is a scene after. Are you sure you've forgiven me? Maybe. Oh. Sorry, I figured that was obvious. Just try not to listen to Lysander's honeyed words for a while, huh? Of course, I'll be by your side for the rest of my days, all my heart, I swear it. So we must leave, Viridia. Your mind is made up. My rule in the Millennium War is over. Xanatus is finally dead. Came close to losing myself completely. I can't face the people of Armitage again. Not for a while. I understand. If they will not have you, then they will not have me just the same. What lies ahead for us, Edmund? Xanatus' dying words still haunt me. I felt no deception in those words. Xanatus' hatred for Dinar and for me cannot be described. He felt a certain peace in his final moments, as though he'd finished his job. We have reports that some of the followers of Xanatus went into exile far to the east, bound for Gronothor of all places. Gronothor? I've never heard of this place. A frozen hellscape far to the east in the unexplored continent. They say Xanatus himself emerged from a bottomless pit in the heart of Gronothor. Though these are likely tall tales. Sounds dreadful. We will see. So you're willing to leap behind your dragons? I wouldn't dream of it. That's why we'll be using Nibbler as our primary mean of transport. Did you expect anything different? I suppose not. Just hope I don't have to compete for your attention. Thank you for coming to my life. I couldn't imagine walking this journey without you. We are so blessed that Donar allowed us to cross paths, said Men. Let's see if we can seek him out and thank him ourselves. <laughs> Loving memory of Zorro. <laughs> oh, it's a kitty. Thank you for playing this. If you are reading this, you have impacted our lives in a very special way. Hope to continue with our journey to bring our dreams to life. Oh, shucks. I'm glad I started drinking. Eight hundred people died. Damn. Boom. And that is it for this campaign. That is truly it. It is done. It's over. It's finished. I'll see you guys in the next campaign. I hope you enjoyed it.